delighted to be in your company. I won't I do not to introduce these people, but so delighted to be in your company group of panels. And uh, particularly, I have to say that uh, she whose wisdom and insights and their practical experience will be an immense guide to the discussion we're having here. I also really want to pay tribute to Shumay. Shumay is an extraordinary organization founded by a great spirit, great naturalist and philosopher who developed the concept <coughs> of natural agriculture, Mokichi Okada. And now his work carried on by Ms. Koyama and a tremendously impressive group of people who are doing this work, not, of course, originally in Japan, but actually all around the world, living with others. Now, why is it that I think natural or organic agriculture is so important? I am convinced that one of the major risks of climate change is to the world's food supply. One of the things we cannot sacrifice is the ability of people everywhere to enjoy healthy and healthful food. I am a believer, and my wife Hannah very much practices what we preach. I, I practice it as much as I can, but I'm never totally uh, able to escape the odd temptation. Uh, but I believe in localized natural food production. The more we can localize natural food production and have people be able to produce their food naturally and close to home so it can avoid the tremendous and wasteful and environmentally uh, uh, offensive transport. I really got my exposure to climate change up in the Canadian Arctic when I lived with the Inuit people who lived with nature under very severe conditions. And I was really impressed at how they developed a viable way of life and culture in one of the harshest climates of the world. So I became very climate conscious of how people react to climate. This conference isn't just another UN conference. This conference is not just how can we improve the environment. This conference is about the survival of humanity, about the capacity of human beings to do those things that are necessary to our survival and to the sustainability of a way of life that will ensure our survival. That is what is at risk. And my belief is that it's going to be decided in this generation. And it, that decision and process is, is in process now. Kofi Annan uh, just commissioned a, a group of experts who advised that already something like uh, 300 uh, million people are either suffering or displaced by climate already. So it's not just something that is in the far distant future. It's something that is happening. And this conference, I've been associated with UN conferences, and many of you, as well for a long time. This is just, it cannot be just another conference. Just another conference that in which governments decide to do things and then don't do them. If governments had done all the things that they committed to do since Stockholm, even back then, the conventions, the treaties, the principles, the declarations, we wouldn't have to be here. People ask me, am I what about, what do I think of the conference? I say, I have high hopes, but not <coughs> high expectations. The best that can be said is that we move ahead. That we know we've got to make mandatory, governments have got to make mandatory, not just, just political commitments. So it, can, it won't all be done here. On the other hand, what is done here is going to determine what will ultimately be done. So you can make a difference. I'm sure this meeting will make a difference. And I'm grateful for the opportunity of sharing this experience with you and congratulating Sumay uh, and those who have supported Sumay in this initiative.